make sure to follow us, make sure you get your updates for whenever we go live. We also have events every month on Saturdays as well, so yeah. Anyway, hopping into this next match here. The of course, Lucario versus Aegis Slash. Um, definitely don't know much about Aegis Slash's matchups um, yet, yeah, still a new character, so I have some stuff to discover. Let's see how much knowledge Paper Second brings into this, and also what um, ET can bring to the table. Round one. Okay. Starts off with this match. Second goes straight into her shield form to get her projectile game going and go into with her attack buff. Staying back, but now it starts bringing her uh, with that attack. Ooh. Got up against the wall, putting up pressure, but oh, Paper Second punishing the bone rush attack right there for some huge damage. It just with a very, very powerful grab. Very careful of it. Going to the homing attack. Paper Sack going in with a full attack up. Frog Gear working out, but oh, not able to punish quite yet. King Shield combos coming in. And with the King Shield 4X. Oh, that not really see much. 4X taking hit right there. Paper Sack taking that first round, but ET showing up some good stuff in there, but not able to quite keep up with a complex character like Age Slash. And now both players are going to be going in. Her first, uh, Paper Sack does her first one ready to go. Ichi, not quite, but almost. Now, Ichi does have to be careful when Age Slash goes into that shield form. Um, has, um, constant counter attack armor, so things are coming back. It won't quite work. And there's a punish on the bone rush right there. Um, ET getting a bit too hasty with it. Frog, they're coming out. That's gonna be a good. It's a good idea, but Aegis can easily sit in um, shield sense right there and wait for it to come out. Just desperately trying to get a few hits in, but Paper Sack makes good use of her counter armor. Oh, Paper Sack going into her first end response to ET's. ET going into the first attack. Ooh, not quite able to land though. Ooh, Paper Sack bringing out new That's an interesting choice. And going into the first attack off of it. How much is he gonna do? I feel like he needs to scale quite a bit, but um, using Mimikyu like that, however, did decrease ET's attack and her synergy power, so um, that means this burst is really just not going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh, yep, yeah, ET there gets caught by the counter frames. Whenever you attack the side in neutral, in shield form, it can cause an instant parry move to protect the field counter. So Paris like taking the first game right there. ET probably... Um, making him a, just a character you really need to um, look into to be able to properly fight against. Kind of like similar to Gengar where there's a lot of deaths to the character and both on the um, Age of Slash's end and on the opponent's end you just need to be aware of all that you can do. Okay. So again, uh, maybe just like make good use of her shield form in field phase to be able to get those projectiles off. Nice respecting the shield and just waiting patiently for her turn. Now we're missing a few opportunities. She's going in now. Ooh, nice jump over, but not quite able to punish. Okay, that gets getting her attack buff up. Ooh, and the crit iron head doing a lot of damage. Right here we have Frogadier coming out to help out. Ooh, there we go. It was a combo off of Frogadier. That was nice. Okay. A little bit reckless. Oh my god, that grab range. That was ridiculous. And there you go, the forward white snagging that round right there. You keep pulling off uh, quite a few good maneuvers in there. But um, Paris Act, though, just able to make it work out in her favor. Aesosh's damage output, especially when he gets enhanced, can just really, really skyrocket. Be a bit overwhelming. A nice ADC there from ET. She's still getting the, the hang of that and helping out. Let's see it in the method that I'm match. Alright, Paper Stack just very aware of her fun. She's always going for the grab after the bone rush. And that's that's what you really have to be careful with. Um, Alright, so now. Uh, 
Um, it's like solidifying her lead right now, but easy going into her burst. Trying to get her hits in. Ooh, punishing the King Shield, but oh, not quite able to combo off of it. Oh, here we go, combo opportunity. Oh, not quite though. Uh, I think that does work against some characters, but not Aedas actually. She has a bit of a wonky hitbox. Oh, it was stuffed the burst into a combo. Alright, alright. Oh, it'll to parry off that, but I don't think you can actually get anything off of that parry. What is that coming out to play? Paper Sack actually using his plays, that's T, but so I'm proud of ET because she's she's I think she's come a long way. I've been helping her a lot personally as of late, but I'm really happy how that turned out. But anyway, good stuff to Paper Sack though, showing off some good stuff with the Age of Slash as always.